Hey, what's up YouTube, it's ICU. And today following last week's release of both iOS 10.2 and 10.2.1 beta one, Apple has seeded the second beta to register developers. Now to date, we're going to go over what you need to know related to iOS 10.2.1, but also how to safeguard your potential ability to jailbreak in the future. So let's just get straight into this and open up Safari. Before we actually talk about the beta firmware first though, I wanted to mention that I am actually giving away a pair of Apple's brand new AirPod headphones and a number of gift cards. If you're interested in winning, then just be sure to check out the link in your cards now as well as down below in the description. It's an absolutely fantastic giveaway and the odds are significantly improved over any other giveaway that I've done because there will be 26 total winners. So check out that giveaway now if you have yet to. All right, so let's talk about iOS 10.2.1, which was seeded again in its second beta form this morning. You can see here that when we get a close-up of iOS 10.2.1, it says we are currently in the second beta and that it was seeded today's date, December 20th, 2016, with a build number of 14D15. Now, this build number succeeds the previous 14D10 build number of beta number one. So interestingly enough, both of those build numbers are very reminiscent of public build build numbers. See, when firmware is going to beta, typically they have a longer build number associated with them, like the first few builds of iOS 10.2 beta, before we started to see those shorter build numbers at the tail end of iOS 10.2's beta life cycle. In fact, Apple threw up a false positive suggesting that the firmware is going to be released sooner than it actually was. So what this means is that iOS 10.2.1 is likely going to be released to the public incredibly soon, but we're a little unclear on the timing, specifically because Christmas is going to be this coming Sunday, and Apple usually likes to take weeks that are holiday weeks off from releases. So because Christmas technically falls on next week, that means we might not get either beta 3 or the public version, whichever Apple decides to go with next week, in which case we'll probably see something the following week. I will keep you guys updated either way though, so just be sure to click that subscribe button below next to my channel name if you have yet to. Now at this point, I'm sure you're undoubtedly wondering about iOS 10.2.1's changes. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, so is everyone. Really, iOS 10.2.1 doesn't offer any outward-facing changes that the end user will notice. It merely includes under-the-hood performance and bug fixes, likely bug fixes that Apple had intended for iOS 10.2, but simply couldn't roll them into the mix and actually test them or provide extensive testing quick enough, again, to meet that early December launch and time frame for the launch of the TV app that, of course, is Apple's new unified solution for aggregating different TV and movie movie related content, specifically from third party providers as well as themselves through their iTunes content. So the remedies found in iOS 10.2.1 were likely intended for iOS 10.2, but were merely pushed back due to a timing issue. And again, that in conjunction with the fact that we have build numbers highly reminiscent of public releases seems to indicate that we could get 10.2.1 again very shortly. We might not even get beta three, but like I said, we'll just have to wait and see and I'll keep you guys updated either way. Now, when we go inside of settings general followed by software update, we do have the beta two build listed as being 1.98 gigabytes, which is incredibly huge. Keep in mind, we are coming from iOS 10.2 and not 10.2.1 beta one. The jump between beta one and two is significantly less drastic. So again, that also seemingly aids or lends to the theory that the bug fixes found in 10.2.1 and the no noticeable outward facing changes were intended for iOS 10.2 before it was actually released. What about jailbreaking though? Because that's likely what's on everyone's minds. That's a fantastic question. See, Pangu is likely targeting iOS 10.2.1 for the release of the first iOS 10 jailbreak unless someone actually beats them to it. What I mean by that is the fact that there is a technical jailbreak of sorts. There is a very powerful exploit or a chain of exploits that were released by Project Zero. And I fully detailed that release and what to expect to it in an earlier video, which will be linked in your cards as well as down below in the description. You should definitely watch through it for the full breakdown and analysis of what's actually going on specifically in relation to that new development. But essentially there could be a jailbreak developed for iOS 10.1.1. In fact, there technically already is, but the end user, the 
average everyday individual won't be able to make use of it and it is highly limited as to the number of devices that it supports at least when it was released that could have already have changed because there is an individual hacker luca tedesco i have discussed him a number of times who is purportedly working on finalizing and kind of tying everything up that project zero actually dropped either way though if luca tedesco does or doesn't release something there could also still be other talented individuals that are working on similar projects based on what project zero dropped so ios 10.1.1 could also be jailbroken shortly and if either apple takes too long to release 10.2.1 or pangu doesn't release their jailbreak quickly enough again we could see a jailbreak for 10.1.1 first so if you guys want to safeguard your potential ability to jailbreak and significantly improve it i do recommend downgrading from ios 10.2 if you happen to update to the firmware or even 10.2.1 beta 1 or 2. it's very simple to downgrade i actually have my in depth tutorial also linked on your screens now as well as down below in the description and it will only really be relevant while Apple is still signing iOS 10.1.1 as of right now they are but that could change literally at any second so if you want to greatly improve your odds of being able to jailbreak definitely downgrade and then if Pangu beats anyone who's currently working on a project zero based jailbreak with a release of an iOS 10.2.0 x jailbreak then at that point I would say it's safe to upgrade again and I always recommend staying on as low of a firmware as possible. Definitely iOS 10.1.1 is a potential candidate for a release. So that's what's going on in the world of jailbreaking right now. Remember, Pangu is still in stealth mode, so to speak. And based on what's currently going on and what has happened in the past, we can kind of draw a conclusion and piece together that they are working on a new jailbreak, likely for 10.2.1. And as I said before, I'm going to keep you guys fully updated and informed anytime anything happens in the realm of iOS and jailbreaking. So click the subscribe button if you haven't. Like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter for even more updates. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.